how can I get the most stuff to prove to people that I'm not alone on this day? Red and pink and white, it's never gonna meet the expectations you've made in your mind. Why pick one day out of the year to shower your significant other with gifts? And walk around and show everyone, look, I've got a boyfriend, someone wants my vagina. That crap is so expensive. Because happiness can be synthesized. There's a $40 thong writing straight up my asshole. <laughs> I mean, like, you, you, you don't even have to buy it. Just, like, write him a card and be like, hey, thanks for being with me create a Valentine's Day card. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a Valentine's Day card. Draw on a bunch of hearts. You're going to need paper, scissors, glue, glitter, and something nice to say on the inside. No promises, I'm just gonna try my best and we'll see how it turns out. Think of something personal you wanna say, uh, but maybe not too personal. Don't make this weird. Keep the scissors pretty straight. Getting all lovey-dovey. I want it to look a little bit more random. I think that looks pretty good in there. It smells good too. I'm going to use sort of like a yellow to orange to red to purple to blue combination. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it's pretty sticky. I'm just kind of winging it here. Shake the glitter off into a little pile and then uh, just blow that on the floor or um, you know wherever. You can always scrape it off later. Get it right, or or seriously, you could really fuck up Valentine's Day. You could switch up the colors to be more masculine with yellow to green to blue. It's a lot of pressure, you know, declaring your love on construction paper. And as I've been known to be a little klutzy from time to time, I decided it's not even a good idea for me to do with gloves on. Under a lot of pressure not to blow it. The right message. Give a poem, maybe, to put on the inside, unless they don't like poetry. In that case, definitely do not put a, put a love poem of any kind in there. You don't even need to worry about making sure that it's waterproof. I also thought it was cute to just glue a couple of little sweethearts on the card. 156 characters or less. You might need more than that to tell your love story, but you probably don't need much more than that. I think I'm getting better at this. I need an expensive paintbrush to do this. And then afterwards, it's really sticky. Roses are red, violets are blue, that whole thing. And then you'd have a more masculine Valentine's Day card. This is about your relationship. You should sum everything up in your entire relationship with this one card. <laughs> Look at that, my fingers are still here. Ta-da! Feel free to seal it with a kiss kind of walk that line between, yeah, I celebrate Valentine's Day, but you know, I don't make a really big deal about it. You don't need a day to tell us how and when to love someone. Love should be emanating from every pore of our body. Uh, well, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day because every day of the year should be about love. Uh, then you're gonna have to back that up. You pay special attention, but that would mean that the other days you don't give special attention. You give less attention. If you have been a particularly kind of shitty boyfriend or girlfriend this year, then you know, it's kind of like a get out of jail free card. Is this really the value of love? But you don't want to get like a wedding invitation because that could put a lot of pressure on your relationship. The is, uh, it should be called Valentine's Year. You mean the universe to me. I love you. If you bring glitter into the house, uh, just be advised that you're not going to ever be able to get rid of it. Yes, I love you. I celebrate our love. How do they really feel about this holiday? Like, I have no idea what Valentine's Day is for. Oh, Valentine's Day. You pesky holiday. Have a lovely Valentine's Day. Because if you pay more than a dollar for a card, you're a You know, hearts, stars, um, maybe a rainbow.